up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so it's finally time to take on the final gym leader right here in Pokemon Black. And since we're playing Pokemon Black, it's gonna be the other man with a cooler beard than mine. Yes, Drayden. Draven and Drayden, we both have beards. Pretty awesome beards and all that stuff. So, we're gonna be taking on a Dragon-type trainer right here. This is probably like the second time we're facing a Dragon-type gym leader here. And this guy is a powerful one. Uh, we don't have an Ice-type Pokemon. We don't have any Ice-type moves, so we're just gonna go in there and test our might. You know, Dragon, uh, not Dragon Ball Z style, but Mortal Kombat style. So let's go. Right here. In the gym. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the only man that's ever believed in us. Welcome to the Opalicid City Gym. The Unova region's strongest and biggest trial. First off, please take this fresh water and I'll help you, uh, I'll help you in the challenge ahead. Okay, look at that, the water right there. Okay, and then let's see. Let me give you a brief explanation of the trick to the Opalicid uh, Gym. The path around the, dra the gym is shaped like uh, two dragons. This path changes when you step on the switches and the dragon's arms. Pay attention to how the dragon's necks move. Okay, now this is a... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a huge challenge right here. So, let's go right ahead and start using some Pokemon right here that, you know, will probably lead us to victory. More than likely, it's going to have to be side of the Torrent, but... We're going to be giving, you know, a few experience points here and there for everybody else. So, let's go right ahead and start battling people. I just don't care anymore. I just want to battle people because, you know, Gym Leader Draven's going to destroy everybody. And here we have Webster wanting to battle us. Let's see what Webster has. Webster. Okay, going up against Fracture right here. Pokemon you can easily get around this area. And we're going to be going Earthquake Attack right here. Now, Fracture, pretty strong. Very, very strong with the physical attack. And, of course, they're going to be having Dragon Dance right here, which is going to increase their speed and attack. So that's a deadly combination right there. Try not to try not to fall for all that stuff. So here we go again, another Earthquake attack. Let's get it. Okay. Earthquake does it, gets it, and look at that. Everybody's getting points and all that crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and start figuring out this this whole puzzle right here. Now, this gym has always been like a, a huge pain in my ass because I always get lost and crud. This thing, yeah, you have to push certain, certain buttons, opposite buttons to get to where you need to be right here. So we're going to be going right here and, well, let's go ahead and switch out somebody else. Let's go Giga Lift and, wait, hold on just a tick. Let's see, uh, yes, it does have the experience here, so what we're gonna do, and what we're gonna do right now, I actually did check to see if anybody can learn, like, Frost Breath or anything, and nobody can, not even Psy, I'm like, seriously, man? Come on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be giving this experience here to somebody that's at level 41, and that right there is going to be Drill Monk, actually, crud. You know what, Drillmonger can hold its own. I do like the combination of, uh, of Rocky Helmet on it. So, we're going to give that experience here to Shatter right here. Hotshot will be able to learn, will hold its own as well. So, I have no issues with that. The only problem is that it is a fire type. And a dragon type Pokemon, they don't give a you know what when it comes to, to fire type Pokemon. So, here we go with another battle. And here we go with Olwyn. That's an interesting name right there, and she's going to be coming out with the Dieno. Now, this is a very interesting Pokemon. Dieno is one of them rare Dragon-type Pokemon that you will eventually find out in the Pokemon League. Crap! Why did I put Psychic? It is a, uh, it is a Dark-type Pokemon as well. Now, many people consider Dieno to be a very, very strong Dragon-type Pokemon in its final evolution. This is, so, this is so true. Problem is that... I think out of every Pokemon that's ever existed, correct me if I'm wrong, right now I'm a little outdated because I haven't played Sword and Shield, uh, Dieno's final evolution is probably the furthest away out of all Pokemon. I think you have to, like, its final evolution is at level 61 or something. I could be wrong. Correct me down below, guys. I don't mind you guys correcting me. And, uh, yeah. Even if you want to have it, it's gonna be, it's gonna take an arm and a leg just to train that Pokemon, so good luck if you have it on your team. So, 
let's go right ahead and jump onto this right here. And as you can see, one arm raises. And this head right here is going that way. Okay, so that is one down. And we can't really do anything right here. So let's see where this head goes. And if we... Oh, wow. I thought, we, I thought if we jumped here, it would actually change something. But no, we're going to be battling another trainer. And... Alrighty, let's see what happens. Okay, alrighty, let's go. What's up? Jose wants the battle, and he's coming out with a fracture, so that seems to be the signature Pokemon right here. Alright, Gigalith, let's get this. Let's do this, Gigalith. Okay, so let's go with another combination of Fly and Air Slash. And, okay, there's that Dragon Dance combination that I said that was going to be a little bit of a, you know, of a risk in something, uh, in stuff right there. So here we go. Fly attack, come on. And, yes, and here comes another, another Dragon Dance. So now the next move will pretty much beat me up, so I'm kind of scared right here. So let's go with an Air Slash. Come on. And here comes that Taunt attack. You, you, you could have destroyed me right there. You could have destroyed me, but you didn't, so... Let's go. Slash attack. Air slash attack. And... Well, coming out with another fracture. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually switch it up to Hotshot right here. It's a big attacker. Big attacker versus big attacker. Wait until it's final evolution. Yes, it's going to be something pretty scary as well. And here comes that other fracture. So, let's go right ahead and use Strength Attack. Let's get this. Strength attack. Nearly does it, and again, another Dragon's Dance. Okay, okay, so Dragon's Dance will do something. I think it's a little bit faster than me now. So let's go again, another Strength, and yes, this guy's actually taking advantage of trying to hit me right here. And that destroys me. So as you can see, Fracture, pretty powerful Pokemon right there. So let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. Let's go. Sigh of the Torrent. Let's get this, buddy. Right here. Let's go. You know what? Grass Knot. You know what? Screw it. Grass Knot right here. Yeah, it weighs a, a simple ton. Somewhat of a ton. And yes, look at that. Defeated you. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so that was uh, that was it right there. And well, well, at least somebody took advantage of uh, you know trying to hurt me like that. So let's go ahead and revive one of our good old Pokemon right here. Probably should have given that uh, that uh, other experience here to Hotshot right here, just just in case. So I think Ace has it, so I'm gonna take it away and just uh, give it to Hotshot right there because yeah, this place right here is probably not the best idea for Hotshot. So let's go ahead and let's see, does it have it? Yes, it does. Okay, so Stuntman from Scotland. I take away, taketh away the experience here, and, well, let's go right ahead and give that to our good old homie Hotshot right here. He does have the Shell Bell, so now let's give that Shell Bell to our good old buddy Ace right here, Stoutland from Scotland, and, well, let's go ahead and jump, and this one will actually, this might actually lift its head, and... And yes, it does. So that actually clears the way for something else right here. So let's go up and see what we can do here. Look at that. Alrighty, so we're making good progress. Very good progress. So now let's go ahead and start battling some other trainers right here. Okay. Are you happy just hanging out with Pokemon? Or do they have to be strong? We'll see which type you are. I like hanging out with Pokemon in general, so I don't know what you'll be talking about. You know? Telling me that I, I don't know anything. Alrighty, so here we go. Going up against Clolara. And she, of course, is coming out with... Yeah, she is coming out with her, whatchamacallit, uh, Axie right there. And, well, let's go ahead and do the same combination. Fly attack and then, bam. Hit it. Alrighty, so here comes a Dragon Dance. I'm assuming that we're going to get that... We might get that. I don't even know. No, we're not going to get that. So there we go. Fly attack. Can it do it? Almost did it. And here comes another dragon dance. Ah, oh, crud. So this one's going to be bad if it does take its, uh, 
it does do what it what I think it's gonna do. So here we go, slash, air slash, and here comes that dragon claw. Crap baskets, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So yeah. Very powerful Pokemon right there. There we go. And that takes care of that right there. Okay. Alright, so you see the combination between Axu, Dragon uh, Dragon Claw, and Dragon Dance. Yeah, very powerful Pokemon. You don't want to mess with that. And, well, we're going to be jumping up right here. Where is this going to go? It's going to go downstairs. But the head... This head is probably going to be the one that's going to go all the way up to Drayden right there. And we can't go down, so let's see. If we go down here, yeah, this one's gonna be the one that's gonna go up. So, I'm gonna go right here. And, we've got a trainer waiting for us, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, heal our Pokemon. Let's see, right here. Alrighty, so Gigalift gets its, uh, its boost. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Ace. See what it can do. I, I, you know, I kind of figured, or I kind of thought that, you know, Ace would have actually learned Frost Breath, but I was wrong. Dead wrong. Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough to on you. Okay. That's kind of a, that's kind of a bad, bad sign right there that we're going to get our butts kicked. But you know what? Veteran Hugo is going to get his butt kicked right here, and he he's coming out with a Drudagon. And if you guys don't remember, I actually had a Drudagon back in the second walkthrough that I had for this game right here. And one of my favorite features on the Drudagon was uh, its scales. It actually leaves a mark on you. Rough skin, that's what it was. And, yep. We get hurt. We take, some, we take a little bit of a shell bell. You know, it's the same thing. So here we go. Another return attack. Yes, my favorite. He's, he's become a favorite Pokemon of ours, and yes, there's another rough skin right there. Rudd. Okay, so... We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be very... We're gonna, yeah, look at that. Shattered Gross level 42. Hot Chat growing levels 2. And, well, we defeated another veteran right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what we can... Uh, what else we can do now. If you go up here... Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, it's going to be something else. So let's go downstairs right here. Where would this head go? It lifts up the... Okay, so that turns that way. So this is normal. Yeah, this is where I normally get everything mixed up. So let's see. Going right here. And we're going to be going downstairs. Okay, so things are going perf well, somewhat planned. Let's see what this guy has to say. Okay. I will test you. Uh, I will test you to see how well you know, really know your Pokemon. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's see what happens right here. And we're taking on Tom. And well, uh, well, he's coming out with another uh, Dieno right here. Okay, so Dieno, about to get your butt kicked with the return attack because yes. Water type attacks, electric type attacks, fire type attacks. Yeah, they won't really work on a D on a dragon type Pokemon, which is hilarious. And look at that. Shell Bell always has our back. Alrighty, okay. And well, he's coming out with the Drudagon, so let's just stay put right here. Alrighty. Drudagon looking like that. So here we go, return attack. Come on, finish him. Okay, and uh, well, there's that rough skin right there, and crud! Look at that. We're getting healed. We're getting revenge. We're getting all that crud and crap. Revenge. Oh, uh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And that nearly takes me out. Well, let's go with the Surf since it's not physical. And there you go. Oh, crud. Uh, you suck, Drudagon. You suck. Okay, so there we go. And, well, that's another Pokemon that's fainted. So, let's go with Shedder right here. Let's see what we got. Shedder, do your thing. Okay, so let's see. Sludge Bomb. Let's get it. Sludge Bomb. Does it do it? Can it do it? Yes, it does. Look at that. Drudagon has been defeated. And, well, more experience points for all of us right there. And here it comes out with a Fracture. So, let's go with the secret weapon right here. Sigh of the Torrent. Level 51. About to kick everybody's butt. And... 
see what let's see what happens right here. You know, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, and whatever. And well, let's see. X scissors. Hopefully, this will actually do something. Here we go. And that nearly takes out Fracture, but here comes that Dragon Dance. Ah, uh, snap. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do this again. X scissors. And there you go. Fracture defeated. Man, it's going to be a tough battle once we uh, take on Drayden right there. And yeah, okay, alrighty. So that's that. We got to revive our good old buddy Ace because, yeah, I got his butt kicked. Probably picked the wrong move. I think either way it was going to faint. I don't know, probably. I was kind of hoping on the Shell Bell that it would actually work. Alrighty, so there we go, Ace. And, well, let's see. This one right here is not right there. Okay, so what we gotta do now is actually find our way around here. So this one right here will lift that claw, right? No, it will lower it. And this one, oh crud, we have to find the next one that actually goes, lifts this uh, head up, so let's see. Yeah, we can't go anywhere, so jump right here. I may have made a mistake, I don't know. God dang it. And... Oh, crud. Okay, so we're returning back over here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is where it gets confusing right here. This is where it really does get confusing, and... Okay, so if I go right there, it's gonna return it to where it was. So what we got to do now is we have to go upstairs right here and figure everything out. Good God. Okay. Right here. What did I do wrong? Okay. Right here. And right here. Hey, we probably have to go in the back right here. Okay, so... Something has to ho have to happen right there. So if you go down here... What will this do? It will lower this one down. And... No, it returns... Yeah, it goes back to what it was. Ah, crap. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah, let's try this again right here. Ugh! Yes, yes. We're gonna be confused a lot, guys! How are you guys doing? In this whole, uh... In this whole thing right here. This whole, uh, quarantine. I hope you guys are doing well. I am. I think. I don't know. It's whatever, guys. It is whatever. So, let's go right ahead and, uh... Well, we can't go down there. And can't go down. No, oh, we can go right here, but we've already been there. So, right here. And I guess we're going to have to, oh, crap baskets. Okay, so we, we're just like, we're going in a loop. So, let's see. I think it's those downstairs that we have to go straight. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so we fucked up right here. Uh, why? 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 Okay, so... God dang it. God dang it! Alright, here we go. Let's see. Okay, so we're messing up just a little bit. I guess we're gonna have to go... Okay, so I think I know where we have to go. I think I know where we have to go. I just messed up right here. Okay, so... That's right. Good old Draven forgets a lot. Good old Draven forgets a lot. He does not do a lot. So there we go. Okay, and this guy will move right there, and, well, let us go, if we can actually, like, maneuver this correctly, and we go right here, and, oh, crud, I thought that we were, oh, shoot, okay, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, where do we go from here, where do we go, god dang it, and we step onto this one, I think we messed up. God dang it. Did we mess up? I want to say we did mess up. Oh, crud. Uh, what if we go right here? I can already hear you guys yelling at me. No, you shouldn't have done that, Drayden. <laughs> oh, balls. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so jump under this, and ah, crud! I think ah, shoot, shoot. 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Yeah, we made a huge mistake right here. Uh, okay, so 20 minutes long. I think I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to cut like half of this thing down, and, and so I could figure everything out. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so we get this one up right here. God damn. Okay, so go. Okay, so let's go right here and see if we got this all correct right here. Okay, so we go right here and. Oh, okay, so... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I wondered that... I, well, yeah, I'm not even gonna read that. Screw it, let's just battle. Screw it. Okay. Here we go. Going up against Dieno, and of course... Dieno, level 40. You gotta love these Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's get this. Let's finish him off. Let's go with Return. Of course, it doesn't. he doesn't have... Whatchamacallit, uh... Doesn't have that rough skin, so this will be an easy battle right here. Look at that, Dieno defeated. And I think Dieno doesn't evolve until like, yeah, level 45. Could be wrong. Level 45? You see, you see what I mean, guys? It, it's just like, if, like a very, very hard evolution to actually have for a Pokemon right here, especially for a Dragon type Pokemon. Like they always have the coolest looking Dragon type Pokemon, and then. <laughs> Like, the coolest uh, Dragon-type Pokemon, and you leave them all the way. All the way towards the end, and it's just... Yeah. It's just too late. You already have a team. Very, very frustrating. Okay, look at that. Okay, so he's gonna be hitting. And I'm gonna be going with the next scissors right here. Yeah, buddy. And, of course, a rough skin will get us again. God dang. This Pokemon will not let me down. God damn. And let's go one more time. X scissors. Okay. And look at that. Okay, so of course the rough skin is going to just mess us up, but whatever. Okay, and Hotshot grows to level 42. And there we go. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. I think I didn't, like, I think I got this all right. I, I just, you know, I was being blind and all that crud. Uh, crud. Okay, so that's that. And let's go ahead and jump onto this. And... Claw will go up. This guy will go... Okay, so... Yeah, Draven was being a dumbass. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's go straight up right here. And hopefully this will be, like, towards the very end. I think we have one more trainer to battle. Could be wrong. I don't know. Draven's always wrong. And yes, we've already beat that guy. Yep, another trainer. Let's go. I'm flexing my muscles right now. Okay. We have 10 years experience battling. I, I give you a, a taste of a veteran skill. Well, I've been doing this for about 20 years, so... Yeah. Your stuff, uh, your shit's weak, okay? So here we go. We're going up against veteran. Kim and G also has a fracture. Okay, alrighty. Okay. So let's go. Let's get this. Let's go with a return attack right here. And can it do it? Finish him off. And, oh man, fracture, yeah. Ah, oh, great. So I think it's gonna be faster in the next turn. So I gotta just, like, I, I gotta really beat this guy. Probably, is it faster? Nope, it's not faster than my, well, it is faster than my Pokemon, but it's using its time. But here we go with the return attack. There we go. Okay, alrighty, and Pokemon gaining experience points. I'm going to switch out right here. Let's go straight for, you know what, let's go Drillmonger right here. Let's use that, them Earthquake attacks right here. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Drillmonger looking all mongery and all that stuff. And here comes Fracture. And let's go with an Earthquake attack. Come on, finish him. Now, funny thing, a few days ago, or actually just yesterday, the 15th, uh, there was an earthquake in Nevada, and of course, where I live at, we actually got the aftershocks. This happened at 4 in the morning, and I woke up to a whole bunch of text messages from my mom, my sister, my brother, my dad, everybody from the family. It was like, did you feel that? Did you feel that? No, I did not feel that. I was actually, I was dead asleep. Like, you could not wake me up. Trust me, guys. So that earthquake did nothing. It was weak sauce. 
And where do I go right here? Okay, so okay, so this is another train. Oh wait, we already beat this trainer right here. Uh, okay, so I know where we're gonna be going now. But yeah, guys, simple aftershock did not did not wake me up. It was hilarious. Family was all concerned for my my well-being and all that stuff. Nothing can stop Draven. And uh, look at that. We've reached the final frontier right here. <laughs> okay, so it took me less than 30 minutes. Now it's probably going to take me like a little bit more just to beat this guy. So let's go right ahead and start off with the... Let's see. First, we're going to heal Pokemon. we got to heal our Pokemon. And they're actually... Yeah, they're actually healed. Okay, so we're going to stay... We're going to stay put right here. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Welcome, or welcome to the, uh, thank you for coming. I am Opalicit City Gym Leader, Drayden. Not Draven, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to, to, to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Isis has. Really? Really? Okay, so... Again, Isis is kind of annoying. I've seen the anime. Yeah, not my favorite character. Not my favorite tra travel partner, but here we go. Gym leader Drayden, and... Oh, he'll, he's going to be coming out with his very first Pokemon right here. And I'm going on to Bulbapedia because, of course, why not? And... Well, there it is, guys. Okay, so going on to the next screen right here, we got three Pokemon. Three Dragon-type Pokemon. Every single one of them, uh... You know, dragon type Pokemon. He's going to start off with a Fracture and a Drudagon, and then his final Pokemon, Haxorus, which is at level 43. Be aware of Drudagon, of course, because it does have its uh, rough skin. It will try and you know nick you right there and then. And of course, both all all, all, the, all these Pokemon do have Dragon Dance, so make sure to defeat them quickly because yeah, Dragon Dance increases speed and attack and will mess you up. Just you know, ask my. That's my ace and, uh, and my hotcha and all that stuff. And, uh, well, of course, Fracture and Haxorus both have high attack, so they will be using that, that move to their advantage. And the best way to defeat these, uh, these Dragon-type Pokemon, it's very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Dragon-types and Ice-types. There's no such things as Fairy-types just yet. Wait till the next generation. But those are two of the Pokemon that you can actually use. So let's go back into the screen right here. Here we go against Fracture. Let's go with the return attack right here. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Look at that. And nearly takes out this Fracture, but as you can see, Dragon Dance coming in strong. And it might be a little faster than me. And yeah, this guy's gonna probably just destroy me. So let's go with another return. And here he comes with a Hyper Potion. Yeah, many of you guys already know. They do like to use their, uh, they do like to use their high proportions and all that stuff. So here we go again with another return attack. So let's go one more time with the return. And he's just going to keep on healing his Pokemon. He's not going to give me a shot to actually beat these guys. So here we go again. Return. Does it do it? Can it? No, it nearly does it. So here we go again. Finish him off. And he's going to go with one final Dragon Sands. And... Here we go. Dragon stand, or yeah, return for the win. Suck it. Alrighty. Okay, and he's gonna be coming out with the Drudagon. So now I'm gonna be switching out right here. Let's go with Drillmonger right here. And I do have a rough skin kind of shit ish, -ish on uh, on my Pokemon. You know that, uh, that 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 helmet that I have. And, well, it is also a flying type Pokemon. I would like to assume that. So we're not going to be using Earthquake. So let's go with the Rock Slide. Hopefully it does it. Come on. No, it is not a flying type Pokemon. I did not see my screen right there. And here it comes. Oh, crud. I think that's Dragon Rush right there. And uh, there goes Drillmonger. Crap baskets. Okay, alrighty. So there goes uh, the man, the myth, the legend. So now let's go right ahead. Let's go with Sign of the Torrent. We gotta mess these people, uh, these Pokemon up. These are Dragon type Pokemon, and they're strong as hell. So let's go, X Scissors. Come on, X Scissors. Nearly does it, and there's that rough skin that we've been worried about. And here comes a Nice Slash. Oh uh, damn, this Pokemon's gonna be strong. So here we go again with another X Scissors for the win. 
suck at Drudagon. But of course, he's gonna leave us with the rough skin right here. Not cool. Not cool at all. So, let's go right ahead and face, like, focus on Haxorus right here. So here it is, guys. His final Pokemon, Haxorus. A majestic looking Pokemon right here. This is a strong ass Pokemon, and we're gonna have to give it everything we got. So let's go again. X Scissors. Come on. Finish him. And it nearly does that, but here comes that Dragon's Dance. Ah, uh, Jeebus. Ah, uh, Jeebus. Okay. Let's go with another X Scissors. Come on. And, ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so we're, we're. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. And we got one more attack. Come on! X Scissors for the win! Suck it, Haxorus. Alrighty. So we nearly got nicked right there. For sure, Haxorus would have just destroyed us right there. Look at that. Shander grows to level 43. And we are victorious. This intense feeling that floods me after a defeat, I don't know how to describe it. That's victor like that's 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 happiness for you because we beat you. Wonderful! I'm grateful we had a chance to meet in a battle. And look at that, guys. Our final badge. Throwing out that peace sign. That's right. Look at that. Throwing out that peace sign. Bam! That's right, guys. Eight badges in all. We did it in less than three months. We got the legend badge from Drayden. Well, now, you've obtained all gym badges in Unova. Now all Pokemon all obediently follow your commands. I also want you to have this. It's a TM it particularly, I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. Really? Dragon Tail? Look at that. Dragon Tail. Alrighty, alrighty. So, got a good move right there. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In other words, it switches your, po up your opponent's Pokemon. Now, I have something to ask of you. Head for the Pokemon League and go after Alder. The Pokemon League is past Route 10, which runs it from Opalicit, Opalicit City to Victory Road. I know Alder's strength, but I don't know the depths of N's power. Okay, alrighty. So, wise words from a, a dude with a pretty awesome beard. I got an awesome beard myself. And, well, let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so we're feeling good. We're feeling great, guys. We finally did it. We did eight badges. And... Well, this guy's like, you beat the gym leader? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, by the way, since I gave you all that fresh water, don't you owe me some of your winnings? I'm kidding, it's just a joke. No, seriously, congratulations. Man, this guy, I, I knew this guy was gonna, like, just say something about that. Okay, so, once we step outside the gym, guess who's right there in front of you? Professor Juniper, and she's like, hello, was Drayden as tough as ever? Uh, kinda. Oh, I came to report on how to resurrect the legendary restaurant. I thought it would be better to tell you in person than over the cross transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure that Pokemon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight gym badges. Uh, you have all eight gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left uh, Nuvema Town. Well then, I'll show you uh, where such a strong trainer should head next. Alrighty, let's follow the let's follow the let's follow the, the this lady right here. She's uh she's pretty awesome and all that stuff. And no, I am not going into that house. No, screw that. Hate rotation battles and all that stuff. Okay, so pass through that gate, go down Route uh, 10, and you'll arrive at the badge check gates. Once you get through Victory Road, it, which is past the gates, you'll finally, uh, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Oh, that just made me think of uh, when I was showing you around uh, the Pokemon Center in Accumulatown. Draven, do you regret setting out, or setting out uh, on your Pokemon journey? Nope. Thanks, that's the greatest answer you could have ever given. I was really, or I was really happy to be able to give you uh, three, or you three, those Pokemon to, as a present. Because uh, Pokemon create chances to meet more wonderful people and Pokemon. Draven, this is a present for you. And she gives us the Master Ball, which, of course, the perfect Pokeball. Oh yeah, perfect Pokeball. I, I have an idea who I'm going to use it on. The Master Ball is the most po powerful kind of Pokeball. You can catch any Pokemon without fail. This is the only way I can support you except to say, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong and keep going with your Pokemon. See ya! 
Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, so... I guess that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, in the next episode, we will be going in through, uh, into Victory Road and going straight to the Pokemon League. There's a lot of stuff, guys. A lot, a lot of stuff that we're going to be covering going into the Pokemon League. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.